Okay, we're on a train. Where are we going, Francis? Hey, where are uh, we going, Gav? Yeah, we, we, mm. well, welcome to the videos. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we're going to Belgium. Yes. What are we doing? We're off to go and ride with the Lion of Flanders, who is probably one of my favourite cyclists of all time because of his dominance of the Spring Classics. Johan Maceo, Paris Roubaix three time winner. Yeah. Uh, Flanders three time winner. We get to ride some cool specialised bikes. You get your own bike. Which I'm quite happy we about. We can wear some really orange kit. <laughs> Johan Musso has never won Gent Vevelgem, which is the route that we're riding today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> uh, so is he going to try and beat us? Yeah, I think Musso might try and beat us to, uh, tomorrow. But he's never won Gent Vevelgem. He's come second uh, and third a lot. Him and one of my other heroes, Franco Ballerini, used to absolutely rip this race apart. So riding with him is going to be an honour. And we're going to go. We're going to go visit some Belgian cobbles. You love cobbles. Oh mate, can't wait. He's definitely a spy. You can see the tattoo on the back of his head. A like hitman. Hitman. No bikes on the escalator, Chris. What bike? No bikes on the escalator. I didn't see a sign that said that. What bike? Definitely no what bikes, they're really heavy. <laughs> yeah, we're on the wrong train, but we're kind of going in the right direction. Yeah. Um, Mild input bike ticket. And we have to make sure we get on the front of the next train, otherwise we end up in France. We've just been there. We've just been there, yeah. Yeah, we don't want to go back there. The bike's supposed to go in a special magic cupboard, and it's not, as you can tell. The front of the next train. From, uh, I think Changing against. No, it's a new cast proto, mate. Oh. Yeah. How many trains are we gonna? We're not getting on this one. Maybe we should. We can't cock it up anymore. This one goes to some place that I don't know how to pronounce. Well, that's anywhere here. Yeah. Den Dendermonde. <laughs> nim nim nim. <laughs> Nim, nim, nim. De laatste drie rijtuigen met de nummers 480 rijden naar Moeskroen en Lille Vlaanderen. No idea. What's he okay, saying? I know what he said. something. He said we're on the wrong train. What's in the bag, man? That's orange. You know, you've been tangoed. This shade is uh, Oompa Loompa. <laughs> and, uh, so chic right now. Oompa Loompa is the new black. Need camera speed. Okay, so today we're traveling from London to Eat. And uh, we've traveled through Lille. We went from Lille to Brussels, all the way over here. Now we're traveling back to Eat, back here. What we should have done is got off at Lille and then got the train straight over to Eat. So we got four times the distance. Four times the distance. Thank you. This place is so Belgium. Belgian music. Yeah. Belgian it's like, hay bales. It's <laughs> Belgian music. Belgian spire. Belgian. Particularly the music. Belgian hay. That's the bit I'm most impressed with. So we are now in Belgium. We we're will. not going to get a ride in. Uh, we've ended up sitting on trains for four times as long as we actually had to today. Cheers now. Going to put the bikes together. They might be together already. I think they are. We're going to have to do anything. I kind I of think, just want to eat and sleep. I think Dries was saying, Dries, 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 excuse the pronunciation. Drizé. Drizé was saying, um, cobbles. Uh, he was saying uh, that the, he's tested the bikes for you guys. All of them? Yeah, including mine. He's tested it and he hasn't ridden them yet. So it's pretty good. Hi, nice to meet you, Francis. Francis, nice to meet you. Chris, what a result. Show us this machine. <laughs> nicer than my bike at home. It is nicer than your bike at home, isn't it? I'll just it? keep it. You might as well take it home. Got two wheels that you can ride the handlebars like this. 
that's the correct way of riding with them, isn't it? Yeah, 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 that's how you do it. Aero, so you, you tuck in like that. You're a little bit jelly, Chris. Um, a little bit jelly. So, so. It's very nice. That's perfect for a donut. Hold your donut. Oh, the next part is the clothes halls. Okay. That used to be in the mi Middle Ages, the biggest building they ever built. So this used Beautiful. to be Manhattan for a uh, one moment in history, long ago. So uh, this is also how the Kent Wave again race. They close the roads, the race goes into this one. Yeah. And over there you can see the Menin Gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how we'll leave tomorrow. We'll start here and bam. Gary, how do you take a selfie? <laughs> <laughs> Does that have Bluetooth, mate? <laughs> That's the most impractical camera you could have brought with you. What's the point, guys? You haven't got a strap for it. I think what makes the, the classics so special is that it's uh, it's one day of racing, mm -hmm. one day of glory. If you win, eh? if you win. So we're here with Rouleur to do three classics. Yeah. Two days. Um, let's talk about Ghent Vale again first. That's a race that you haven't won. No. But it's one of my favourite races. It that is. You raced in. Take back to 1996. Uh, we watched Johan and Ballerini in the breakaway all day and then at the end of the race the, it came back together and despite being in the breakaway all day you then led out Tom Steele's yeah. how hard is that to be in a breakaway all day long and then lead yeah. out your, your sprinter you know that generation Kent Raven was in the middle of Flanders and Roubaix on Wednesday mm. so let's make a, a difference or you are recovered or not recovered so um, and you have still a chance after Gent Wevelheim. So it was three races in one week. So first Tour de France, and then in the middle Gent Wevelheim. So uh, I didn't win. I was one time second mm -hmm. uh, when I was young. 92. Yeah. Uh, uh, Herman Frison was beating me in the sprint. <laughs> so uh, okay, I can say I won all the classic races in the spring classics, but not just one. Can't wave that. So uh, and second place and third place, it's nothing. Just a victory is counting. Uh, what's so special about uh, Gent Wevelheim? Is it is it the history that, that comes it's with history. that race? It's history. Gent Wevelheim is wind, windy. It was the, the coast of when it's windy. It's outside coast. It gives something special. Then you have the camelback. You can go in the breakaway or or not. And then at the end. There's a breakaway or there's a sprint. So that's the three elements of Kent Wevelheim. So windy, camelback. The van has and to go the up sprint. in there anyway. So almost it's, it's, it's a sprint. So it's more the sprint race than a classic race. So it's, it's in the middle. You have crosswind, you have cobblestones with the camelback, and you have a sprint final. So then that brings us on to the monument. Classic. Uh, tomorrow we'll also also be riding the Tour of Flanders, which you've won three times. Uh, the Tour of Flanders is my favourite race ever. So to me, that makes you uh, one of my absolute heroes. Could you tell us about your victories of um, the Tour of Flanders and what they mean to you? Uh, it's it's mean a lot, especially if you win three times. It's already if you win one time something, and especially after your if you stop. You know what it is to be a winner of Tour de France. So as a rider, you win and to, you try to win each year. But you don't know what it is, the impact of a winner of Tour de France. So it's, yeah, it's following your life. I'm, I'm still the ex-winner and three times winner of Tour de France. So as for a Flemish guy as me, it means something special. And even for, yeah, for me, it's US people, yeah, they remember me of the winner of the Tour de France. France. So it gives something special for your whole life. If you are second, it's nothing. For example, Life Hoster, he was two times second, not a winner. It's, make it, it's a big difference if you be a winner or a second. So uh, it's, yeah. 
I'm happy that I'm won three times. Happy. Yeah, very happy. Uh, and so what gave you the idea to combine these two rides together uh, and head off to London on Thursday for the Ruler Classic? Yeah, we have uh, Waverham, we have the history around Waverham of the world, people, sports and all the history we have. So we have to think about that. We have, on the bike you can think about it. You see the monument, you see history and you have time to speak to each other in silence and speak about what's happened here. But you're going further away to, to Odenarde, where's the finish now of the Tour de France and all the famous hills, Koppenberg, Patersberg, all that history climbs. And at the end, we have the Muir of Gerasberg. So that's the finish for us tomorrow. As fans, uh, the Muir is the place where we really enjoy watching you race. Uh, and that's where you, you, you break up races and, and, and then carry on to the win. So uh, is, it, is it special to you that we, we finish our ride tomorrow on the Muir? Uh, it gives always a special feeling if I get up. So I still bike a lot and with customers and alone, but it's always give me something every time when I get up. Paters, Park, Guarmo and especially the Muir. So uh, now the Muir is back in from last year in the Muir in the Ronde. He get out for, uh, because uh, there was a changing of uh, the parkour. But now he's in and he will stay in and he have to stay in because uh, it's, it's a special hill. It gives something, uh, it's, it's mythic. It's, it's magic, it's, isn't it? It's, yeah, yeah, it's history. Um, yeah, it's, it's, feel, it's, it's special, you know, it has to be in the Tour de France and I'm happy it's, it's in. And that's why we will finish tomorrow at the top of the Muir. I can't at wait. The, at the Capel Muir. <laughs> Thanks for sorting this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having Good morning. Good morning. You're going chocolate hunting? I'm going chocolate hunting. I didn't come all the way to eat via Brussels to not go and buy chocolate from Leonidas.